going to need to take loose these other ribbon cables. Let me zoom out a little bit. Again, they're made the same as the ones on the bottom. Got the little flap that lifts up. They also have a little plastic handle that you can grab onto. Make them easier to work with. We don't have to take the drives out. We don't have to take the memory modules out or the uh, Wi-Fi module. Those can stay connected. So we also have this speaker cable that we need to disconnect. That's right next to the CMOS battery and the ribbon cable. So let me get a couple of hairs out of the way here. So you want to just pull on that cable slightly and disc tug on a little bit and disconnect it. Should come loose really easy. Don't put too much pressure by pulling on the cable. Put a little bit of pressure on the clip. Help it get loose. Got another hair here. Get that out of the way. So let's go ahead and take this ribbon cable loose. Again, we'll just lift that flap up so that it's perpendicular to the motherboard and slide it back. Just grab the little plastic handle and it'll come right out of there. It doesn't take very much effort, but it's kind of a confined space. So get that loose. On this one, the plastic handle is kind of tucked underneath the metal part of the palm rest. So pull that out and then lift up the retainer on that one as well and pull it back. So now everything is loose and it's, we're ready to take these two last screws out and our palm rest will be ready to come out. So those screws are the same size as the others. The 31 screws that were removed from the bottom that are all the same size, these are the same size. You don't need to keep them separated from those screws. So at this point, we're ready to take the palm rest off completely. If you notice as you're facing the laptop, the screen is almost making contact with the speaker. So what I want to do is tilt the screen forward. That'll increase the distance between the speakers and the screen. And we can begin to lift up on it. Um, you may need to pull outward just slightly on the side to release the tabs around the USB ports and that type of thing. If you haven't already done so, you're going to also want to eject the SD card blank because that will prevent the palm rest from coming loose. So now I'm going to turn the laptop around so that you can get a better look at what we're doing here. So I'll open the lid up. You can see that space that I'm talking about. We'll tilt the hinge straight up, the hinges straight up so that you have ample space. Now we can just lift the palm rest right off. And just lift it right out of there. And there we have it. Nice view of the bottom side of the palm rest. Set that aside. Now if you're upgrading to 4K and you're able to buy a complete screen assembly from Eurocom, you will not have to separate the display lid components. In this video, we're only going to show how to remove the display assembly. So at this point, we're ready to uh, get this thing off of here as a complete assembly. On the right hand side hinge, you will have one screw here on the top side. It's the only one that has to be removed. The rest of the screws were inserted from the bottom. We also have two screws on the left hand hinge. One is up on top in plain view and one is down in a slightly recessed area. If you're not paying attention, you may not see that screw. Um, so you'll find that down in a little bit of a recessed area. You'll find that there are two cables that need to be disconnected on the left hand side by the speaker. Your two antenna wires, which are also color coded black and white. And there's a legend on the decal on the Wi-Fi card and then your EDP cable which just snaps in place. So once all of those things are disconnected and the screws are removed, the display is ready to come off. And as I mentioned, this cable here just snaps on the EDP cable. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove it. There's a little black plastic handle. It lifts straight up on it and it will just come unsnapped from the motherboard. That's all there is to it. So it only fits on a certain way. Pay attention to the way it comes off. 
and just snap it back on the same way you t took it off whenever you put the new display panel on. Nice and secure. Tug on the cable a little bit, make sure it's connected, and you're all set. When it snaps on, it's not a very pronounced click. You don't really feel a whole lot, so just, like I said, tug on a little bit and make sure that it's securely fastened before you put it back together, and you won't have any trouble. As we put the palm rest back in place, you notice that there are, are some notches that fit over the hinge, the hinges, so those go right on each hinge there. We'll just lower this down in place. Everything lines up nice. It'll just lay flat exactly where it belongs. No problems at all. So the first thing we're going to want to do before we get too carried away is make sure none of our cables are trapped. Our speaker cable is trapped under the palm rest here. We want to make sure that that's free. We want to look at our ribbon cables. Make sure that those are free as well. That one's loose. This one's loose. So what we're going to do at this point is put, put a cup, the two screws back into the palm rest uh, so that we can flip it over and make sure our ribbon cables are free on the bottom. We'll put this one in on the right hand side. Cinch that down. We'll put our second screw in. And, oops, that's the wrong one. That's the hole we push through with the screwdriver. Screw goes in from the bottom. So screw in the middle, screw on the right hand side. So those two screws are in. All the cables are free. Let's flip it over and look at our ribbon cables on the bottom side. A little bit earlier in the video, I mentioned that the small ribbon cable is going to be trapped, and it is. So we're going to have to lift up on the frame to pull it away from the palm rest and get this small ribbon cable out from underneath there so that it doesn't get pinched or damaged. If you put it all back together and that's underneath there, it's going to be a problem. So let's flip it back around again. Go back to the top side. And I'm going to demonstrate inserting these cables. So first we want to connect our speaker cable. Let's insert the plastic in. It'll snap in place. Pretty simple. We're going to insert this ribbon cable here in the middle. Again, we'll lift our flap up our retainer flap, push it in until the line is lined up with parallel with everything else. You'll know that it's inserted straight. And as we fold the flap down, that will conceal the horizontal line that's on the cable. Those are a nice guide because if you put the cables in crooked, it won't make contact and you'll have trouble with lighting and keyboard and various things. Uh, this one again is made exactly the same way. I'm going to grab the plastic handle, pull it back with the retainer perpendicular, upright, perpendicular to the motherboard. That'll allow us to slide that cable right in. I'm going to hold this plastic handle all the way with the screwdriver so you can get a better look at what I'm doing here. So. lined up, fold the retainer down, and again our black line that's for alignment is covered by the flap. We know it's in all the way. We want to tuck this little plastic handle underneath the metal part of the palm rest to keep it all the way. Grab our keyboard. We're going to connect this small ribbon cable. Again, the same type of retainer. Just slide it into the connection so that it's inserted all the way and squarely.
hold the flap down. And the cable secure. Now these two wider ribbon cables are the ones that have the different connection design. The one that's closest to the touch pad slides under the black plastic retainer. We want to make sure the black plastic retainer is slid toward the display all the way so that it's released and will allow this cable to slide underneath it. You slide it in very gently, nice and square. And then once it's in there, we can push the black retainer in place to secure the cable. You're going to want to this works it acts kind of like a teeter-totter. You push one side in and the clip on the other side pops out. So we're going to do that one more time here. Slide the retainer away. Slide the cable underneath the black retainer. And as we get the cable in place where it needs to be, we're going to want to push on both sides of the retainer at the same time so that it doesn't rock. If it rocks, the cable is going to work its way back out again. So. It's a little bit tricky. If you have tweezers, you can actually kind of squeeze along the inside of the... But we're going to use a screwdriver and tweezers so that you can see what's going on here. And we'll push both sides in together at the same time. That'll clamp the cable nice and secure. This other ribbon cable is made exactly the same way. It also has a line on there to assist with placement of the cable. The difference is this cable, if you remember, goes on top of the plastic retainer instead of underneath it. You'll see that we'll slide this retainer forward and make sure it's released. See this? Re there's a recessed area along the face of the white plastic and the cable goes in between the white plastic and the black plastic socket. And so there you have it folks. Continue reassembling the laptop in the reverse order from which you disassembled it and you'll be back in business with a fantastic display when you're done. Also bear in mind that this video was created for the advanced users and those with notebook repair experience. We intentionally skipped over some very basic things like removing screws, heat sinks, hard drives, and that type of thing because this is a pretty significant undertaking and you really need to know what you're doing before you get started. Also bear in mind that anything that you break or damage during the repair or upgrade may not be covered by your warranty. So if you need help, please pay to have the work done. The folks at Eurocom are more than happy to perform this LCD repair or upgrade for you so please contact them for a quote. Otherwise, I hope you found this video informative, and best of luck with your upgrade on your LCD or your repair. Thank you for watching.